Right on, everybody. It's Conwell Davis here from the North Shore Lifeguard Association, uh, city and county lifeguard out here on the North Shore. Just like to thank um, Olakai for having us be a part of this Anywhere Law Friday segment of theirs. Um, today we're going to run through uh, a training break that we like to do as lifeguards. Uh, it actually mimics a lot of the rescues that we end up doing out here. Um, it consists of a run, paddle, swim. Uh, not necessarily in that order, it could be either way. But uh, it just keeps the paddle, keeps your uh, shoulders um, nice and oiled up, ready to go. And then the swim just kind of mimics that, that burst going in and out. So um, basically we do it uh, a few times a week. Uh, we like to do, it depends on you know the weather. Uh, if there's waves, we're always surfing. Uh, if there's no waves, then we're actually getting creative within this. So we like to do this. So. Uh, we'll actually start from the tower. Today we're at Waimea. We'll start from the tower, we'll run down to the corner. We'll swim out, um, back into the corner, grab the rescue board, paddle out to that same mark, back in and run back to the tower. That's how we're gonna finish. The name of the workout um, is, is an Iron Guard. It actually comes from the Junior Lifeguard Program. Uh, we, we do every summer with the kids. Uh, it's actually one of the main events that these uh, Junior Lifeguards these kids need to do um, in order to get their certification. Um, it takes roughly, you know, our breaks are only an hour, so we try to do it within 40 minutes. Uh, it depends on how we're feeling. Most of the time, we'll try to do like a quick burst. Um, sometimes it'll be a few rounds within that hour, so it all depends. Um, but yeah, it doesn't take very long. So our breaks are only an hour, so that's how long. Uh, you don't need much for this workout. Um, the gear that you would need for this workout would just be, you know, board shorts, uh, a top if you want, um, some sunscreen, mask if you need some. Um, some of us use fins depending if there's surf, uh, we'll use fins because that's what we would usually use uh, if we were responding um, to help somebody in a rescue-like situation. Um, but yeah, you don't really need much. Um, this specific uh, beach is known for a big wave surf, uh, specifically um, the Eddie Aikau event that's been going on for years. Um, and it's actually a pretty ongoing attraction in the summer and in the winter. Uh, in the summertime, we have recreational activities such like the jump rock, um, but believe it or not, there's just as much emergency situations in the summer as we do in the winter. It's just surf accidents versus uh, medical treatment. So, um, like I said, if you have the equipment needed, uh, some body surfing fins, um, just, you know, some trunks, uh, a rescue board or a soft top surfboard, um, kind of stake out a landmark on the distance of how long you want to you know, run or how long you want to swim or even paddle for. Um, and then you can just go, at, go after it and do a few rounds and um, you know, as many rounds as possible. Well, thanks for joining us uh, and tuning in with us on our workout. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, learned a little bit uh, from what we do out here on our training breaks to try to stay fit and always be ready. Um, thanks again, Olakai, for having us. Uh, part of this Anywhere Law Friday. And um, stay safe. We'll see you soon.